Welcome back to Friday Night Live. We are Colin and Kim. We're youth leaders at the Ark Church Islam um, and this is our new teaching series for the autumn term. We are so excited to be with you tonight and actually some of you we get to be with you face to face so if we're in the room with you right now we are really excited and pumped to be back together as long as we can. If you're not able to join us and you are watching online, we are really happy to have you and glad you found us. We've had a bit of a break over the summer term and as Colin said, we are kicking off with a new series tonight called Encounter. Now our heart behind this is that you would meet Jesus in the next eight sessions that we have together. So many of us have questions about who God is and what he's like. And the amazing thing is that God knows that we have those questions and he knew that our heart was always wondering, what are you like God? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Does that mean you don't love me? Does that mean that you're not a loving God? And he wanted to answer those questions and what he did was he sent Jesus and he said, you know, if I could be anybody in the world so that human beings could understand what I was like, I'm gonna be this man and his name was Jesus. And the Bible tells us that Jesus is the image of God. That means if you wanna know what God's like, you need to take a good long look at Jesus. And the thing is with Jesus is that to, to see him is to love him. And so what we wanna do in eight sessions is basically to show you each week a different encounter that Jesus had with somebody in the New Testament. Because when you look at him, you will see a part of the Father's heart which will just blow you away. Uh, I became a Christian when I was 21, 22, I can't remember. Colin and I were like total movie nerds. And we went to see Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ. And God had been working in my heart a little bit before that, but that's a longer story. But in this movie, I was absolutely wrecked and I just cried and cried and cried. The movie's the story of Jesus' crucifixion. It was like really ugly crying, wasn't it? I mean, Colin thought I was broken, I think. But I saw this man, Jesus, and I was like, if somebody, if the, somebody is real that loves like that, I have to know who he is. And so I was like, Colin, find me a Bible. And he found me a Bible. He says it was pink and I said it was purple. Anyway, he found it in the loft. And I read it, and by the time I'd got to the last page, I was a believer, I knew this was somebody I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And uh, that's what we want for you. We want for you to have an encounter yourself with Jesus by seeing his face and meeting him in all these other encounters that he has with other people. So, session one is called Encounter Revelation. We're going to talk about that famous story in the Bible about Cleopas. You all know it so well, that story about Cleopas. Cleopas was an apostle of Christ and him and a fellow disciple were on their way to Emmaus. Emmaus was um, just a suburb of Jerusalem um, and they were talking intensely. They were, these two guys were gutted, they were downcast, they were talking about um, what they'd just um, witnessed and what they'd seen because a few days before that, they'd entered Jerusalem with their teacher, Jesus, triumphantly. They'd entered. Jesus was going to redeem Israel. He was going to bring down the Romans. Um, he was going to save us all. So they had had a party, but this party was interrupted because Jesus was tried um, and crucified. So they're walking on the road to Emmaus and they're talking intently about this experience that they've just seen. Um, then this person comes up to them um, and he says, oh, what are, you, what are you talking so intensely about? Um, and they didn't, they didn't recognize that this person was Jesus. Um, they assumed this person was a, was a visitor, actually. So Jesus must have been, I don't know, he must have disguised himself somehow as a visitor, not, not native to that region. Um, and they said, where have you been? Are you the only visitor in Jerusalem? who has not seen what's happened these last three days. And Jesus says, what things? And just the way Jesus says what things just makes me think of the way a father says to a son, what, what, what do you mean there's sweets in the cupboard? What are you talking about? Jesus says to them, what things? What sweets in the cupboard? Ah, 
go, go away, there's no sweets in the cupboard. Kid knows there's sweets in the cupboard. This is the way Jesus said to them, what things? They're like, what things? Jesus of Nazareth, a great teacher who's come to, to save us and redeem Israel, was handed over and tried by our own rulers. He was crucified. This was three days ago. But furthermore, some of our women went to his tomb and it was open and empty and he wasn't there. Um, and angels told them that he wasn't there. And then other friends went to the tomb and they were like, he's not there. So we're, he, he's not there. This is, this is, we, we can't believe what's going on. And Jesus just says to them, you, how foolish, how foolish are you two? Don't you know, don't you know your scriptures? Don't you know everything that was written? And on this journey, this walking journey, Jesus starts to unpack all these prophecies that have lined up in order for Jesus to come and die for us. Um, and they're amazed, they're amazed at this guy's wisdom. They get to a point in their journey walking along where uh, Jesus pretends like he's going somewhere else. And they're like, no, 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 come, come, come and have some food with us. So they go, they go into, the, into these guys' um, house or where they're staying. Um, and then when they're all sat down, Jesus breaks the bread. At that moment, that is the moment when the scales fall off their eyes or when something shifts in the spirit and they see it's Jesus. What a moment. Jesus reveals himself. <clears throat> and I think it's amazing. I think that whole, um, that whole journey along that road, that the kind of, the, the, the desperateness of the, of the disciples and not, what, what how, how have you not seen this? Where were you? It's one of those, I was thinking of a where were you moment. So imagine somebody um, just appearing and, and uh, in society and saying to you, why, why, does, why doesn't people touch each other anymore? Why are people not hugging? Because they're like, where, where have you been? We've been in lockdown for six months. There's a pandemic. You know, it's kind of where, where were you moment? Um, you will have where were you moments for, you, for the, your generation, for your youth generation. This, this whole COVID is going to be your where were you moment. Most of you are going to say, I was in my bedroom on YouTube, but uh, <laughs> others might be on somewhere else. So <clears throat> a where were you moment. And Jesus knew this. He knew he'd known these two um, since before they were born. He, he knew these two. He knew how to converse with them and talk to them. And then he revealed himself to them. It's one of those moments where Jesus revealed himself to me as uh, when I first um, was saved. I looked back and I thought, oh, there you were. Oh, there you were. You met me there. You met me here, you met me there. This picture of this road that Jesus walks with these two disciples is a picture of our lives. Um, if we don't know him now, he's walking with us and he is talking to us at specific moments. And when you know him, if you know him now, you, you can see those moments. When you know him in the future, you will see these moments and you will say, oh, wow, that's, yes, yes, I, I get it, I see it. You know, he is walking with us at the moment. He wants to sit down and break bread with us and reveal himself to us. That's what he wants to do. That's our Jesus. That's how much he loves us. That is so beautiful. Guys, um, oh, we just want you to catch God's heart in the face of Jesus. His heart is to reveal himself to you. It is the most mysterious, grace-filled thing. And so what we want to do at the beginning of this series is say, Lord Jesus, would you open our hearts? Be prepared, guys, for God to show himself to you in new ways. So we want to prophesy over you today, like Colin has said, that God is pursuing you in your journey. That you might not be sure where you're at right now. You might be like the two mates going, I just don't get it. You might be devastated about something that's gone on in your life. You might be thinking, how can God be good? I thought he was going to do this and then this thing has happened. Perhaps you didn't get the results you wanted. You've not ended up in the college you wanted to go to. You've got like disappointments and broken dreams. 
and you're just, you and your mate, you're just wrestling with it. We're prophesying over you today that the heart of God is to meet you in your questioning and to reveal Jesus to you. Because guys, we 100% believe and can testify that to be a friend of Jesus is to live a changed life. He's the reason we live and we wanna share him with you. And we are so excited that you are coming into a place, either because you're listening to this video or because you're hanging out with us on a Friday night at the Ark, where you get to see his face. So we're just gonna pray and then, then we'll finish up. Yeah. Lord, I just want to pray over our youth. I want to pray over those um, watching this video. I just want to pray that um, part of this, this story of, this, of how Jesus walks with us, um, all the time he walks with us. When we're down, when we're up, when we're in the middle, he's constantly there. Just kind of doing this, you know. He wants to converse with us. And Lord, I just pray. Um, I pray for a breakthrough. I pray for listening hearts. I pray for a spiritual breakthrough. I pray for movement in prayers that um, our youth have. And I just pray that maybe you can take a first step in praying and seeking Jesus. And I just pray that over our youth. Um, Christ, reveal yourself. Amen. Uh, amen. Amen. Encounter, revelation, it's been fun. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.